guys, some gamer dude here. So some days I just want to stop myself because I'd finished something, it was uploading, I'd done the thumbnail, etc. etc. And then we find out that there's a better translated version of the article that I was talking about, and it changed quite a lot. So this is Vanguard uh uh, well, Cardfight Pro, VanguardUS.net uh, blog site, and has a better translation of this article go in Bushiroad Monthly, going over the clans that have already been announced for Cardfight Vanguard V. So, let's get into it. I've wasted enough of my time today, so let's start. It just talks over the gifts first off. I'm not going to talk about them again unless it comes up, because it's not the subject I really want to talk about. Oracle Think Tank, Protect. The gift marker in hand counts for the purposes of Oracle, increasing hand size to meet the conditions easier, to make meeting the conditions easier. So in other words, the, if anyone was wondering if the keywords were going away, they're not. That alone proves it. But the gift marker counting in hand doesn't really matter because with the exception of the grade three ride, it's just replacing the, well, the grade 3 ride would be a plus 1 from riding because of the gift marker, but every other one is just a net 0, because you have to ride up to 3 naturally anyway. Because the clan draws so many cards, it can pay the cost of protect markers as perfect cards again and again, nullifying countless attacks. So in other words, it's already set up to fight um, Excel decks a bit easier than other protect clans, which... Uh, it, Excel is going to eventually run, run them dry. Excuse me. Just defending won't win you the game. So, Aura Thin, I think they're an Oracle Think Tank, will have a powerful attacker to close games in with. I think that they mean Silent Tom or uh, the Imperial Daughter. Uh, I think Oracle Think Tank, I, I really do hope that it gets Scry again. I really love that about it. But as long as it's just better than the... First two lots of G era Oracle Think Tank. Well, everything from four Oracle Think Tank between uh, Break Ride and the first two eras of G. Uh, as long as it's nothing like that stuff, I'll be happy. Grand Blue Protect for the clan that focuses on resurrecting cards out of the drop zone. Discard aspect of Perfect meshes with. Uh, sorry, protect meshes well with its playstyles. You discard units to block attacks, then put those same units out next turn to use offensively. Which, yeah, that, that's good. Uh, I understand where they're going with that protect mentality. Keep the game defensive, and then use those cards so you don't actually lose the cards you uh, pitched. That's good. Royal Paladin Force. Force synergizes with Royal Paladin's overall strategy of calling regards from the deck as those regards then have a basic power bonus to work with even if they're not boosted. Well, thing is, with the Royal Paladins we've seen so far, they're not calling from the deck yet. They're actually um, calling from the hand and then giving a refill to the hand for having called something. If we do see um, stuff come from the deck, and yeah, things could actually work in tandem, I, I really hope uh, Royal Paladin isn't given too much unflip early, so they do actually run out of resources. Doubling up on the force marker on one circle is recommended, making regards that are as threatening as the vanguard. Now. In the original article I was reading, it was talking as if you could use force markers indefinitely. This makes it sound like what we've already read. Uh, that, that is one of the main reasons I had to re-record this. Spark Brothers Force. Spark Brothers are also called from the deck, but emphasize repeated calling mid-battle phase. You can set up two See, two plus four markers on a regard circle. See, they're mentioning that you can buff it indefinitely. We've heard buff once. I think we need some clarification on this. I think we need to know if it can stack it indefinitely or stack once. Because this is mixed messages. Then structure your attack so that the circle repeatedly empties after battle and gets a new unit called 
into it that will gain the 20k powers. See, now it's talking as if it's only two maximum. Please make up your mind. This is confusing. I would suspect it's only two so it doesn't get into too much nonsense numbers. But the way this is being worded by all the fans uh, that are translating uh, Japanese articles, all this Japanese article, which spoilers has another thing that is really confusing in it and probably a typo in Japanese because I've already read ahead um, to some comments on the wiki here. yeah it says this odd thing in Japanese too but it's probably uh, a typo in both languages uh, this uh, I, I really think it needs to be clarified Shadow Paladin Force this clan calls from the deck in order to later sacrifice its rearguards to power up the vanguard. In the new series, this can be used either to strengthen the rearguards for their attacks before you sacrifice them, or to focus on making the vanguard overwhelming. Well, uh, that probably sounds like Shadow Paladins going back to the original Phantom Blaster Dragon where it's sacrifice a bunch of things, get a bunch of power, get a crit, and waste your freaking resources and time. I hope it's not because we're going to have a bunch of people running around with a shit deck and thinking it's good because it's popular and expensive, but it's shit. Which was the case at the time, uh, back when Vanguard first started. Ildana and uh, the Dark Dictator were much, much better grade 3s. I kind of hope this isn't the case, because they're talking about making the Vanguard overwhelming, but not what the Vanguard actually is doing. But this is more about the overall clan, not the actual individual Vanguard. Yeah. Tachikaze, Excel. This is a highly technical clan that Superior calls units by retiring them, which Excel enhances by giving you additional regards to get your timing right with. This clan is also one of the few with access to front triggers. So, it makes sure that you have something to sack. It's, yeah, I don't really understand why Tachikaza has to be so, except to differentiate itself from force, and it's not defensive, so why, um, why protect? Tachikaza is very, very strange. In a lot of ways, I this is actually one thing that it does bother me a little bit with the reboot that they kept all the clans on. I actually think we could have probably hope, potentially seen some folding in of clans like the two ninjas, maybe Tachikaze into Great Nature. Uh, I think some things probably should have been further rearranged than they were. Uh, but I think I get what they're getting with with Tachikaze, attack with the extra circle, use something to sack it and bring it back to the hand, but not interfere with other circles. It's, um, yeah. Force, uh, oh, sorry, Aqua Force, Excel. This is another one that interests me because uh, it was my main clan for most of the, no, actually it was my main clan for the second half of the time I played because the first half I jumped between Spark Brothers and Narukami and Oracle Think Tank is my main. I think the only one I kept on as my main out of that era, because I usually kept two mains, was Oracle Think Tank. Until so it became unviable, then I switched over to... I switched between... Uh, yeah, a few things, but I mostly just kept around Aqua Force, because it was my favourite. Anyway, Aqua Force ex emphasizes making additional attacks and resolving skills based on the number of attacks made. So it's it's probably going to keep way for probably simplicity of wording. So Excel is a natural fit to this clan because it is increases both the number of times you can attack and the ways in which you can structure those attacks. The additional power makes those attacks matter more. Which is something I've always worried about, as opposed to Tidal Assault swinging for 16, then 4. Which is the reason why, unlike most of the fandom, I am not a huge fan of Tidal Assault. I prefer every one of my attacks being able to force a shield. Tidal Assault screws that up. Same with Benedict 
I was still running um the grade three version of Basil till the second uh Maelstrom Reverse when we think yeah that's when we got Spiros. Spiros uh, worked a bit better than Todd also because it could attack the Vanguard that smack into a Regard. Yeah, and that wasn't in BTO 9, it came out in BTO 13, I think, Title Assault. Aquaforce will also have the stand, uh, the front triggers in the new format. I will admit something, I do think that Aquaforce going from a re, 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 Vanguard to a Vanguard, re, 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 uh, clan does take away a bit of its charm. It's one of the few decks where stand triggers were actually pretty freaking good. Um... It, it was actually one of the few decks where stand triggers did something because the Vanguard nearly always had innate pressure and there was a reason to block it, which meant that stand triggers could do their damage. Without that, I'm uh, I'm still really looking forward to it. It's probably going to be my main, uh, but yeah, I, I have to admit there is a bit of charm lost. Mega Colony Protect. Now, Mega Colony was one that I really went overboard with because of how the other article was worded. The other article worded it, sounded as if uh, Mega Colony was going to get lock. That is how badly worded it was. This clan focuses on preventing your op the opponent's units from standing, controlling their board by reducing the number of attacks each turn, and reducing their hand size by forcing them to call over paralyzed units. Protects keeps the opponent on total lockdown as whatever they attack, uh, whatever attack they can make is negated. Now, there's one problem with that. Uh, I'm happy that Mega Colony keeps its stun identity. I was really, really worried that uh, Mega Colony would be more like the manga's um, Extra Booster 1 Comic Booster, I think it was called, where Mega Colony was more like uh, Pale Moon, but this helps it along for me. Uh, th this means that Mega Colony is going to keep its identity, but there's something here missing here that I think needs to be emphasized. Mega Colony has a problem. It more it so Mega Colony's main deal is it makes the opponent make a choice. Just with Grade Two. That gives them a further choice. See, on base, stun with a grade 1, grade 0, or grade 3 is essentially lock, or the opponent can choose to retire it. Either it becomes Kagura or Link Joker, the opponent's choice. They choose what they're fighting. However, this is a big however, with grade 2, which is the most common thing to be on the rear guard, and still will be because grade 3s are still being used for something else other than the rear guard circle, they can intercept, meaning that you're basically just saying, okay, that rear guard, you're going to have to block with it. Now, that's not, that's not a choice I really want to give the opponent. If Mega Colony can stop the opponent from lock um, intercepting, which is probably a really strong ability, um, it would probably have to be tacked onto the stun to not be broken, uh, th then it's okay. But if it's just not done, it, it, uh, Mega Colony's kind of crap, still, even if they get reduced cost, and if it's tacked onto a continuous effect, it's kind of broken. Uh, Mega Colony just said, this amount of shields you cannot use in this way. And I think that's a bit strong. But maybe Mega Colony needs it. Because Mega Colony doesn't uh, draw cards like uh, Link Joker normally. We have to see where Mega Colony goes. But uh, the other article I was reading uh, that was a bad translation of this was talking about um, uh, 
it, it was basically using synonyms for uh, locking something down in regards to what Megacorn is doing to the regards, and it made it sound like lock. That was one of the reasons that I had to re-record this, because I don't want to go off the handle going, oh, Megacorn, he has lock, and it's like, well, that's badly translated, and you're an idiot for using it. So, yeah. Let's continue. Dark Regulus, Protect. The old image of Dark Regulus as a Protect clan would be Wingblade. I mean, Blade Wing. Uh, I wouldn't know because I didn't play that far into G. But, uh, I... Okay. But what kind of ability would that become in the new series? The old Dark Regular was themed around increasing power by increasing the soul. With the Protect, they can become a soul charge to increase power deck that does not run sentinels. Protect eliminates the risk of never seeing a perfect guard due to soul charging it. Uh, I mentioned this in the video that I uploaded a couple of hours ago, that you could run a deck without perfect guards if you didn't want, so apparently I'm on the right path. But would you want to? Chances are there's only four grade threes in the deck you want to ride, unless the grade threes are interchangeable more or less, then it raises the question of they've only raised one deck per clan and didn't give enough tools to make two different decks. Um, I'm really curious about this. This is uh, this is gonna be this is going to be interesting where Dark Regulars go. But I understand where they're going with it, and I don't think it's a bad idea. I kind of understand why they protect. Uh, I, I just... Does it fit them? Force probably does a bit better, but... Dark Regulars has always been a claim that was very, very fragile, so protect will probably help them. Kagero, Force. Kagero is a control deck which in the end game finishes the opponent off by standing their own vanguard. Well, we just admitted that Kagero as a clan has a re-standing vanguard as one of their attributes, their um, identity, which is actually good to know. I know the original Overlord did, and it was a theme of the Overlords, and I think Dominate Dragon, the... Uh, Break Ride did it, but I don't remember much else other than those two. But now it's just the theme of Kagero, which will be interesting. Playing Force on the Vanguard Circle plays that winning image, because every repetitive swing will have more power. You should look forward to the to what Dragonic Overlord's skill set will be. Well, I'm actually curious if it's more like Dragonic Overlord, or Dragonic Overlord The End, or one of the later ones. That will be interesting. For balance reasons, I could probably see them going for something more like the Overlord The Great, or one of the later ones. I think uh, the original Dragonic Overlord might be a little too... Well, it was never good on Vanguard, whereas The End would be way too much for this early. So we'll see. I, I don't think an on-hit thing this all is particularly healthy. Dimension Police. Force. DP revolves around powering up the Vanguard to achieve its goals. So Force is the gift that best supports their strategy. You can look forward to a Commander Laurel type Vanguard standard ability in the future. Well, oh boy. Yeah, I, may, I said this in the other one, but here it is. Confirmed. <sighs> Vanguard race stand in Dimension Police. Uh, well, considering how powerful the Vanguard is this time, I think we can just accept and agree that Dimension Police are going to be scary again. Already got a bit of shell shock from when they were destroying my perfect guards. Thank you, Dai Kaiser. But this is this is honestly far more irritating. Nova Grappler, Excel. This clan's theme is attacking multiple times with powerful rearguards. See, the original article I was reading, and even the one on um, the comments in the wiki was saying that uh, it's attack. It, uh, Nova Grappler's theme was something to do with hands, and everyone thought it said stands. But this this uh, this is weird. Um, but yeah, this makes more sense. Uh, I, I kind of wonder if this part's rewritten because to make actual sense. This clan's theme is attack... Because when has Nova Grappler been about drawing cards? Never has. 
This clan's theme is attacking multiple times with powerful regards, so Excel is an obvious match. The issue promises that front triggers are going to be a big deal for Nova Grappler. Uh, probably because they attack with something, then it, well, attack with their Vanguard, force tr triggers are. Uh, power up the front row, something attacks, something else makes it stand up, uh, like uh, Papio from the Beast Deity. Oh, I actually think Nova Grappler going in for this big rush uh, front trigger thing is probably for the best. As I've said, it's probably a little bit uh, volatile. Um, not volatile, fragile. Fragile. Murakumo, Excel. Murakumo's strategy is to call Shadow Clones of units already on the field from the deck, then send them to the bottom of the deck in the end phase, preserving them for the next turn with hidden run tactics. See, uh, I don't like the mentioning hit, because that makes the Shadow Clone very, very circumstantial, but already on field. I, I kind of get what they're going with Murakumo. I think it helps them. I just, it still sounds like Murakumo is going to be kind of shit. Uh, hit is not a bad thing, all things considered. It's just when you have to hit to do anything versus hit to get a little bit of advantage or uh, more attacks or etc, etc. It starts getting into this clan is garbage territory. I'm already worried for Murakumo. Already worried. However, up through the end of the G-Series, it was possible to run out of circles to call to, unless the Murakumo fighter deliberately held back. Excel fixes this flaw by ensuring that there's always a new empty circle every time you ride a Grade 3. Thus, you can attack many times without depleting your hand. Just good. Actually, most circles will help them uh, break through and win anyway. Actually, Murakumo, depending on how those Shadow Clones are done might actually end up much better than you'd think from them or at least get a substantial boost because as a clan they preserve hands so using excel doesn't really bother them all that much uh if they get something with excel, um, a grade three that clones itself and then it goes to the bottom of the deck it, it feeds into excel but doesn't deplete more resources it, it murakumo might be in a good place if made correctly, it might be in a bad place if it's left to hit effects. Uh, it's a wait and see scenario. Pale Moon, Excel. Since Pale Moon attacks multiple times by pulling cards in and out of the soul during battle, Excel's power boost and additional circle is a good fit for the clan's technical playstyle. It would be fun and it gives Pale Moon the force it needs to attack without meaninglessly pumping things in and out just to pump something else up. You can also use the additional circle to play around with situations where you would have originally retired units that would you, that you would have called over. Yeah. So uh, Power Moon's actually set up for something decent. Uh, unless it's Luke, yeah, I honestly wouldn't be interested because Silver Thorn was the only thing in Power Moon I really enjoyed. But there you have it. That actually doesn't sound that bad. Additionally, the article recommends taking advantage of Power Moon's Unique characteristics in premium and standard format, but fighters will have access to the G Zone as well as gifts. It makes special mention of Masquerade Master Hari and Dreamy XL Milward. Oh, I don't know those cards. Hari can call up to three units from Soul on attack, making use of the additional front row regard circles. Milward also calls two units out from the Soul during the main phase and can, which can likewise make use of that fourth slash fifth circle. The power buffs from those cards will help compensate the lack of an excel, uh, lack of boost on Excel circles. And then it mentions the release date. Uh, it's a very interesting article. I, it sets up a lot for the future. I'm glad I redid this video, mostly because the other one, it had so many errors in it. It wasn't funny. And again, it made it sound like Mega Colony was going to get lock. And the thing with the Royal Paladins is, uh, I think, no, no, it was uh, not Royal Paladins, it was Spark Brothers. 
conference where it mentions the plus force markers on a regard circle instead of just a maximum two is still confusing but let's see where it goes anyway this has been some gaming i thought this was a very interesting article to look at and i'll see you guys next video